Maybe one thing in the in the uh, theme of education that would be helpful for our listeners is to share uh, a little bit about a term that I've heard you use before called the building's microbiome, sure. which I thought was a, a very fascinating term. Can you share uh, what that is, Tyler, and uh, and why that's something that the public should be thinking about? I would love to, and this is uh, a, another maybe 30-minute discussion for us to deep dive in, in the future, Bruce, because I am expecting a lot of innovation in this space uh, going forward over the next few years. The concept of a microbiome is not new. You have a microbiome in your gut. I've got one as well. They exist all across the globe. Uh, the relevance of that to what we're doing in buildings is that a building also has a microbiome. There are critters, viruses and bacteria, mold, mildew, other things with DNA that are floating around in the air right now, settling on surfaces here in my office, at your office. And the hypothesis is that the health of that microbiome is directly correlated to the health of the occupants of that space or that building. Interesting. So uh, imagine a future in which we can sense for that microbiome, just like we can today for comfort measures like temperature or relative humidity or more IAQ specific measures like particulate matter levels and total volatile organic compound levels. When we add the microbiome to that, we've now created the most holistic picture of the quality of the air in that space. Once we have that data, then we can do all the great stuff that we can do with data today, which is use it as an input into uh, smart systems in that building, control systems, digital platforms, we can analyze it, we can report on it, we can optimize based off of it. And most importantly, we can deliver that much more valuable an outcome to our customers, keep their people that much more safe and productive and well in the building. 